John Dexter, you're an organist. Well, I have been known to play the organ sometimes, yes. You see this amazing organ here, and if you look, it was built in 1852, yeah. but not for this church, it was built for the chapel in Westport House, and no expense was spared. It's a little... See here? It was originally made by Telford of Dublin. They were fine organ builders and installed in the old church in memory of Ellen Sidney Marchioness of Sligo, who died in 1852. And it only stayed in that old chapel until 1872 when it moved to this church here. It was damaged because of dampness. But you see it from the plaque here, that the amazing thing is, it survived all these years. Now look at the pipework. So many organs of this era have been rebuilt and renovated. But the wonderful thing about this organ was that it's hardly been touched. It needs a little bit of work done on it now just to clean it out. But it's still all the pipes just as they were in 1852. And they don't uh, uh, make these anymore? Do they make them as decorative as that anymore? You'd get decoration on it. You wouldn't see an organ like this anymore now. So many organs now are made electronically. Okay. But this, of course, is all done by pipes. There's one slight modernization which occurred but instead of having to pump the bellows yourself, there is um, a bellows operated by electricity. But that's the only little bit of cheating. <laughs> so you're going to play the tune for a piece. What's that piece? A tuba tune by Lang, yeah. with a few very odd notes in it. Yeah. You got a few uh, unusual buttons on the side here, yeah? These are the stops. Stops. And each of these represents a complete set of pipes, one for each note. So you need to multiply all those stops by the number of notes, and you get an indication of how many pipes there are inside. And that gives you a lot of variety, doesn't it? Yeah. Combination. Yeah. And uh, where are you working yourself now? You're, you were in St. Patrick, in Dublin. I was organist in St. Patrick's Cathedral in Dublin for mm. 24 years, 24 happy years. Have they got a good organ up there? It's the best. The best. Is it old? It's old. Well, it's not as old as this. Is it not? No. no. There, wouldn't, there wouldn't be many as old as this in Ireland now, would there? Um, well, Ireland has surprisingly large number of lovely old organs, really historic ones. Um, and, uh, but the, the special thing about this one is it's been so unaltered over the years. And is the maker of this organ extinct, gone out of business? I'm afraid so. Yeah. Uh, one problem of this in this church is that it was built for a small chapel, so although it's very extensive and very large with so many pipes, the scaling of all the pipes is quite small, so it's really built for a smaller building. So his, it's a historic piece of furniture? It is. Mm. So I have many happy days of organ playing.